we're going to go for a different approach and we're going to try reasoning about infinity instead of adding it up using the equations we've done before. Now, what's the first infinite set that you come across? Well, I don't know what the first one is that you came across, but I think for a lot of people it's the natural numbers. So, an, an infinite set, um, a familiar is the natural numbers. Remember this is one, two, three, maybe it's got zero in it, maybe we don't care. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. Now we never actually reach infinity in there, but there is an infinite number of things in that. And so let's try calling infinity the number of things in there. So let's try saying infinity is the number of natural numbers. Now I'm going to warn you that this is actually not a bad idea. It's actually quite a good idea. Some of the ideas I've been telling you turned out to be total rubbish, but this one is actually quite good, and it turned out to be the one, one of the definitions that mathematicians use quite a lot. It doesn't do everything, um, and you have to be very careful about how you use it, but it's actually quite a good way of thinking about infinity. Now let's just try this a little bit. Let's think about having an infinite you have an infinity of things, and uh, they correspond to the natural numbers. So, um, if you've got four, you know, if you've got four stars, here are four stars, and the reason that we know we've got four of them is that we can count them, one, two, three, four, so we sort of match them up to the numbers one, two, three, and four, and that means that there's four of them. So for infinity, we now have a way of doing that for infinity. So if we've got an infinite number of things, we should be able to match them up to all of the natural numbers. So we should be able to say there's one for each natural number. So if you find this difficult to imagine, um, imagine a hotel. This is actually quite a famous hotel. It's called Hilbert's Hotel. Hilbert was a famous mathematician who came up with this idea of I don't think he came, probably wasn't him who came up with the idea of the hotel. Do you know what? I don't know who came up with the idea of the hotel. Anyone calls it Hilbert's Hotel. We'll all have to go and look that up, won't we? So Hilbert's Hotel has an infinite number of rooms in it. And because it's a hotel, the hotels have, the rooms have numbers, and these ones have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way going on forever. So there's no highest number. It's just that there is a room for every natural number. And a room for every natural number. So, supposing this was a hotel that had four rooms, not a very big hotel, sometimes small hotels are nice. So this is a hotel, it's got four rooms, I'm not going to draw Hilbert's hotel, I can draw a hotel that's got four rooms. There's my hotel. And if four people arrive, we can put them in room one, two, three, and four. This is going to sound really stupid. But if there is another person, so you've got a person in every room, if another person arrives, then they have nowhere to go. Right? Now, let's try this with Hilbert's Hotel. So I'm going to extend Hilbert's Hotel. Hilbert's Hotel now keeps going forever. Big roof. So these rooms go on forever. And let's suppose that there's a person in every room. None of my people have arms. That's not supposed to be relevant. I can give them arms if you really want. Now supposing someone else turns up. Here comes another person. I can give this person arms because they're really lucky. You go, oh, sorry, the hotel's full, no good. 
But actually, if you're, uh, well, if you're thinking cleverly about it, you could say, wait a minute, why doesn't everybody move down a room? So everybody moves down a room, this person goes in this room, this person goes in that room, and so on. And because there's an infinite number of rooms, there's no last room. So everybody can just move down a room, which is going to leave the first room free, and that person can go into it. So what have we just done there? We've just done infinity plus one. But here's a very subtle point. If the one person arrived first, if we did 1 plus infinity, then the first person could just go in the first room, and then the infinite people who arrived afterwards could just go in all those rooms, and nobody would have to move. So this also equals infinity, but differently. Without any hassle. So this one equals infinity but with a hassle, and this one equals infinity but with no hassle. And so this is the first clue about the sorts of things that have been going wrong for us with infinity, because usually with ordinary numbers, addition is, is um, commutative, which is to say that you know 2 add 5 always equals 5 add 2, and no matter what you do with ordinary numbers, a plus b equals b plus a. But here we've got a situation where, depending on how we think about it, infinity plus 1 and 1 plus infinity are different. And in fact, I'll just throw this in for lots, um, there's a type of think the, way, the way of thinking about infinity called ordinal arithmetic, where it matters whether everybody had to move room or not. So you might think to yourself, well, if everyone has to move room, something different has happened, and that's bad. Whereas if no one had to move room after they've already gone into their room, then that's different. So let's do this again with another example, and let's keep an eye on whether or not people had to move rooms or not. So let's try, let's try doing 2 times infinity and infinity times 2. So well, let's, let's think about what that would mean in terms of the hotels. 2 times infinity, let's say, is 2 infinite busloads, infinite buses arrive. So each bus has an infinite number of people in it, and 2 buses arrive. So infinity times 2 is 2 people arriving an infinite number of times. So this is infinite pairs of people arrive. Perhaps on tandems. That's, you know, a bicycle made for two. Can I draw a bicycle made for two? I doubt it. My people's heads are going to look exactly like my bicycle's wheels. There. Here's a couple of people arriving on a bicycle made for two. It looks a little bit more like a pushchair made for two. But, so in this one, you have a, a bus with infinite number of people in, and you have two of them arriving. In this one, you have little vehicles with two people on each, and you have an infinite number of vehicles arriving at the hotel. So why don't you have a little think about it, and see if you're the hotel manager who owns this hotel with an infinite number of rooms, what rooms you would put everybody in, and what would happen. 